Hey guys, it's Phoebe. I hope you're all safe and well. Okay, so I don't know about you, but my heart is absolutely breaking for these two precious, precious little boys, Orin and Orson West. They've been missing since the 21st of December 2020. So precious, adorable, adorable, darling little boys. So it's now a month since they've been were last seen in California City, Cal City. These are their adoptive parents, Trezol and Jacqueline West, and they adopted Orin and Orson back in 2019. This is their biological mother, Ryan Dean, and we can only imagine what she must be going through now. Poor lady. So Trezol and Jacqueline West have six boys in total, four adopted, Orin and Orson being the youngest two, and then they have two biological children of their own. Now they claim that Trezol was out in the backyard and the boys were playing on the back porch. Trezol was cutting wood and he went back into the house when he could see the boys and when he returned the boys had gone. They were no longer there. This is the front of the property. So they immediately searched inside the property and then drove around the neighbourhood when they couldn't find the boys, or Trezol did rather. This was all happening around half past four, between half four and five, and they called the police just before six o'clock as it's been reported. The reward fund has now grown to $100,000. Now the boys are critically missing children and it is now a month since they were last seen. News updates are quite scarce to be honest but recently um, police chief John Walker did confirm that the adoptive parents were asked to do a lie detector. He was unable to confirm, however, whether they agreed or declined to take the lie detector test. Now, of course, it is important to state that the Wests have not been named suspects or persons of interest and have never been detained by authorities. They have been questioned several times, but they have never been detained or arrested. Now, the California City Police Department are a really tiny department. There's only 13 sworn officers. They are being assisted by Bakersfield the FBI so I think they're doing everything that they can let's just have a little look and see what has happened to date so they've excavated the backyard of the family home to make sure that the boys are not buried there oh gosh what an awful thought they've used search dogs which did detect scent of the boys inside the house, but not outside, which is a bit strange because they were reported missing from being outside the house in the backyard. So why dogs didn't detect any scent there, who knows? They used cadaver dogs no, inside the home. No scent of human remains was detected. Search warrants were executed to collect items including electronic devices. All phones have now been returned to their owners. They tested the adopted parents' van with luminal and no indication of blood was found. They've spoken to neighbours and no positive ID of any of the West's six children was made. They've been there since September, which is four months, having previously lived in Bakersfield, and their previous homes have also been searched. According to Chief Walker, the last time the boys were seen by anyone other than the Wests was by their grandmother, but Chief Walker was unable to confirm when that was. Chief John Walker has recently given an interview, and if you've been following this case especially, it is well worth a listen because he does answer a lot of questions. I'm going to leave a link to that interview in the description below. 
Meanwhile, please, please, if anyone has any information, can you call 760-373-8606? And let's keep these darling little boys in our hearts, our thoughts and our prayers. And let's pray for a safe return. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.